Hey everybody, how are you all doing? I hope you guys are doing awesome and amazing. Hope life's going well for you and happy Monday. Well, for some, it's almost done for others. I have one hour left of my Monday. But happy Monday to you all who are still in that. I just wanted to, again, before I flat my gums, thank you all for your support and everything. It really means a lot. I'm tremendously encouraged by a lot of the different interaction and love I've been receiving over the past few weeks and that's really nice and surprising to get. So, um, man, life has just been so different for the past month and I'm really shocked and amazed by it. So it's really awesome to have that. Again, thank you for your support. Before I start, I don't know who needs to hear this, but um, I feel like I just need to tell you all that you've got this. Whatever is going on in your head, whatever you're struggling with, whatever you're trying to achieve, you've totally got this. Um, I was having a few days ago where I just I was wrestling with a goal I was trying to meet and I said, there's no way it's going to happen. And it actually did. Um, and I think I completely doubted everything. And the only thing that just kept me going was like, just keep your mindset going that like, this is going to happen. Just keep working hard for it. And there's going to be a way you'll figure it out. Um, and that's what happened. So, you know, praise be to God. That was amazing. And um, I feel incredibly blessed. And um, it's another miracle that I've seen. So I wanted to ask you all a really interesting question that I stumbled upon today. And I was curious what everyone else's take was on this. And you can comment it um, or whatever you would like. You can DM me later. Um, if you want to comment in the replay, that's fine too. But I was wondering what you guys think of the word home and what is home? Is home a place or is it a feeling? And I just thought that was an extremely interesting question to stumble upon. And um, I personally think that it can be both. Um, so... I've had experiences where home as a location has, um, it's been like a place or a source of comfort somewhere that um, I feel like I belong. Um, but one location that I did put down that I do feel like is home is Disneyland. And that's partially also a feeling thing. Growing up, my family, we went to Disneyland, um, I think every other year with my cousins and everything. And so I was able to just attach that location with a feeling and a comfort of a location of being home. And I just thought that that's really interesting that I think home can be a definition of location for us, but it can also be what I think is a feeling I know often I have a feeling of home when things are just completely like all is right in the world. Um, maybe not everything's all is right, but it's that feeling of just like you can be at peace and everything's going to be okay. I feel like that personally is a, a feeling of home for me. And a discussion I actually had with someone before this is that um, home can change. And I actually found that interesting. I've had several locations that I thought like, yeah, this is it, this is my home. And maybe something just was different in that situation or changed later or, you know, whatever you want to add on to that. Um, and I think that's okay for a home to change sometimes. it It's life, it happens, change happens. And so sometimes we're trying to adjust to what a new, kind of home or life should look like for us later on. But I'd love to know what you guys have insights about this because I just thought it was a very fascinating question. 
I think one more thing I just want to say about home when I was thinking about this question that I just thought was so interesting is when I was able to realize that home can also be a feeling and emotion. Um, I realized home for me has also been the moments where I've had empowerment. And, you know, on this, these past two years of my life, there's been a lot of unexplainable things. There's been a lot of struggles. There's been a lot of doubt. And I remember this one moment where I was interacting with somebody and, you know, it was just a situation you interact with um, somebody that you're just kind of just chatting with. And um, this person ended up, I ended up expressing something and this person said, you're crazy. And um, for me, I'm, I'm doing a lot better now, but for me, that was like such a trigger word in the moment because I was wrestling with thinking I was just insane, mentally ill. And um, I started like negatively identifying myself that way because it was at that time the only answer that I could get for a lot of things. And it was really triggering to hear that. Um, and I know obviously this person had no idea what was going on. And I just felt in that moment, I had the choice to either react and break down and just completely fall apart through a comment like that, or I could choose to do something else. And it was, I can't even explain like what brought it about, but something just told me I had that choice in that moment. And I had made a decision to just confront the issue. And I said, you know what? Um, you know, you're right. Like I do feel like I am crazy at times and I realized I'm not, I don't fit the mold. I'm not an ideal person. I'm, I'm different and that's okay. I'm learning to accept that and be okay with it. And it was like, at that point, that word stops triggering me as much. And um, it, that was a moment where empowerment was like a new home for me because I had never really been able to do things like that. And to be able to finally have a moment where that happened, it was amazing. And I still even look back at that moment and am just really thankful and grateful for what I learned through that moment and what I learned through the whole journey. So again, for those of you, thank you, who have just tuned in, I really appreciate it. The question I was asking is, if home is a place or a feeling, and what you guys think about that, why you picked the certain home that you did, whether it's a place or feeling for you, you can um, comment it in, you can um, DM me, whatever you feel comfortable with doing to have that discussion. But I just thought it was a fascinating question and I'd love to know what you all think. Like, what is home? It's a place, a feeling? Is it somewhere extremely special for you? Or maybe you had a moment of it. Has your home changed in the past few months, the past few years? Uh, maybe you moved or maybe you were in a community that felt like home and then something changed where it wasn't that for you anymore. Um, so I really would love to know your insight on that question. And um, finally, I just wanted to say I learned something really awesome about um, working with Lime Life and some of the products that I had. So the One Drop Wonder, which is a technically a face serum, um, you know, it's like a miracle oil. It actually helps with hair growth too. So fun fact, when I learned about that, cause you just need to put like one or two drops in lotions, moisturizers, and it'll boost the effects. But I decided to put it in my eyebrow gel and my mascara because I have short lashes, short thin lashes. So maybe the One Drop Wonder will help with that and I'm gonna keep track of my results and let you all know. And then I put in my eyebrow gel because I actually have a client that was asking some questions about just, um, they, they wanted to um, bring some more fullness to their eyebrows. 
And um, I said, oh, well, put some One Drop Wonder in this and uh, you should be good. So that would be really exciting. I can't wait to see what results this person gets as well. Um, again, share with me uh, what you think home is and uh, if it's a place, location, if it's changed, what your experience of that would, uh, has been. Thank you so much for tuning in. I really appreciate the love and support. Um, again, I just want to send you guys all my love, um, all the abundance. You have the power and capability to do anything. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. Don't let trigger words get to you because they don't have to. You can make a choice to completely change that tone and that situation that you can get cornered in or feel like you get cornered in. All right. I love you guys. Bye.